will travel. Transportation of a monkey on a first class ticket is forbidden by Southern Railways. I discovered this fact when travelling in company with my own proboscis monkey. I dressed him carefully in robes and slippers, but the inspector was not fooled. Though I noticed a group of gorillas had slipped under his guard. <laughs> I have been experimenting with surrealist poetry and pastiches of Lorca. Uh, Donald and I are involved in something uh, of a, a, a Spanish convention to do with Lorca quite soon. Uh, here's my efforts. Dreamer. The dreamer is not sleeping in the cold cave under the cliff. His hands cover the damp earth. He stirs continually, dreaming the music that he heard before the night drew on and the dark curtain fell. One day the curtain will fade, crumble under the scowl of sun's heat. Then the dreamer will sleep profoundly, forget the beat of the drum that made him dance in childhood. And as one follows up in a way, eclipse. When the final eclipse came, it was not foreseen. Time and space reversed. Radiance became implosion. Distance telescoped. Black sun emitted gobs of a dark void hurtling against the space that no longer allowed travel by any matter, matter any impulse. The eons unraveled and sank into an infinitesimal instant. God's eye closed. And the last one is another pastiche. Um, there is a certain type of poetry, uh, Elizabethan and pre-Elizabethan, which um, hymns, hymns the praises of a loved one. Usually it's a woman. But I've tried to write a blason or blason poem, a sonnet, to my lover Donal. So here it is. Thy hair is like the ripples of a silver mountain stream, <laughs> cascading past the rocky fastness of thy bosky brows, <laughs> falling to the tawny ledge where I lay down and dream, beside the blue pools of thine eyes and thy majestic nose. Thy mouth, an oracle, its smooth recess a treasure cave of nectar, satin lips, a mobile tongue, thine ears complex ammonites, thy neck a brave broad column, powerful an antic pier, thy biceps undulating hills, thy chest a fertile plain, and south the narrow pass between thy, thine ever potent hips where ambush waits, <laughs> a gentle spear gives pleasure, never, never pain, in this fair land, I'll make a stand with loving fingertips. Your body is the territory I shall seek to roam. And here I'll live contentedly, make my eternal home. Thank you, Janice.